Hello and welcome to part two in uh, my series on creating a game in the Blender. This is for my seventh grade class. In part one, we created a platform and we surrounded it by a simple sphere that looks like this. Okay. In this particular tutorial, we are going to map an image to that sphere so that it becomes a sky dome. This is a finished product. Uh, when we're done with this uh, part two, we'll have something that looks like this. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to up at the very top where it says yours will say Blender Render. Okay, we're going to switch Blender Render to Blender Game. Super important. And then over on the right with the camera selected, okay, I'm going to come down over here where it says Shading, and we're going to check the button that says GLSL. That's for GL shading. We need that, okay? So we're going to check GLSL. We're in Blender Game. And then down at the bottom, we're going to set this white circle here. We're in solid view mode. Um, we've gone into wireframe mode a lot, but we're going to go this time into textured mode. Okay, and that's going to allow us to see some of these textures. So here I am in edit mode. with uh, I'm in textured mode down here. GLSL on the right. Blender Game on the top. The next step is to go to the internet and we're going to find an image that is designed to work with a sphere. Okay, These sky domes, you could probably Google for the term sky dome as well and find something. But I'm going to Google for, um, in this case, spherical map. You see, spelled just like that. And it will be an image that it, that'll map nicely to a sphere. And there are lots of ways to find these. Over on the left, I'm going to choose any size and I'm going to go with large. And I'm just going to pick the first one that comes up, which is right here. Okay, so I've got a nice big image. You can see here that this is 2048 by 1024. Um, and I'm going to click on the full size image, and it's going to give me a nice big spherical map. Now, these spherical maps tend to be, uh, they tend to look warped in the center a little bit. They tend to be rectangular. You'll know you have one that is designed to sit on a sphere because it kind of looks kind of like what we see here. There, there are lots of them if you're creative and you can kind of search around a little bit. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Save Image As. Okay. And I'm going to save this to the hard drive. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this onto our sphere. All right. Um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to choose two things. Well, first of all, I'm going to choose the circle right here. That's our materials tab and we're going to assign a material to this sphere and I'm going to click new. All right. And the only thing we need to worry about is there's a checkbox down here that says shadeless. All right. I'm going to click that and that means um, and that's going to keep um, our light sources from affecting this sphere um, in a way that uh, it won't seem dark because we don't have a light source that's not near it. So this is a shadeless material. Okay. And then the checkbox that's right next to materials is called uh, the textures um, dialog okay and I'm gonna click new and by default it says clouds okay but I'm gonna change that to image or movie all right so I'm working under textured image or movie and I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna find the spherical map that I just saved and I'm going to open image all right and you're gonna see that over here okay um, at this point, it now appears inside of our sphere, but it, it isn't mapped correctly. Like this doesn't look right at this particular point in time. But we're going to set it up so that it does. Um, over on the left in edit mode, okay, we need to do a couple of things. We're going to choose UV mapping, okay, and we're going to click the button that says unwrap. All right, so I'm going to click unwrap. And I'm going to choose Sphere Projection. Boom. Now that's going to um, unwrap these faces onto a two-dimensional plane, all right, that we can sort of, uh, we can work with at this point. So you have to click Unwrap and then Sphere Projection because this is a sphere. And down here on the bottom now, it's going to say Sphere Projection, okay? And we're going to take Direction and we're going to change that to Align to object. All right. So I've unwrapped this by clicking UV unwrap. I chose sphere projection and then we've done direction aligned to object. Okay. And then over here on the right with our texture selected that red and white box there. Uh, I'm going to come down to where it says mapping and you'll see the word generated. 
Okay, well, we're going to say we want this to be mapped to the UV coordinates that we just unwrapped, so we're going to choose coordinates UV. Okay, and what that's going to do is it will straighten out. If you have a good spherical map, okay, it's going to straighten it out so that everything maps out the way it should for a spherical map. All right, so simply by following those directions, if you have a decent spherical map, you're going to come up with a sky dome that is aligned correctly. Okay, so we've unwrapped the object in edit mode, we've chosen uh, the spherical projection, we've told it to align to the object, and then over on the right in our texture, we've indicated that we want it mapped to our UV coordinates, and with any luck, you now have a working sky dome. Okay, uh, thanks for watching this particular tutorial. Uh, we'll be building up um, some structures in the next video, so thank you for watching.